Hi guys, it's 26th of August 2014 and this campaign, hopefully which uh, will take off, has been inspired by uh, the current Ice Bucket Challenge which is going around and a post which uh, Gene Donaldson of the Academy for Dog Trainers in San Francisco had posted uh, recently which I'll read out. So Gene says there is currently a lag between many trainers marketing language and, the, and their actual practices. If a trainer advertises that he uses modern, evidence-based, humane methods or positive methods, it might be true or it might be false advertising. So we should ask, what exactly will happen to my dog when she gets it right? What exactly will happen to my dog when she gets it wrong? Are there any less invasive alternatives to what you propose? If you don't get clear, concrete answers or are at all uncomfortable, keep shopping. Okay, so I'll answer the questions first. And what exactly will happen to my dog if she gets it right? If my dog gets it right, good things happen. So she either gets paid with food, with toys, or by doing something that she likes, which is going to see, for example, going to see other dogs or sniffing the ground. Okay, so I use things that the dog likes after things that I like in order that she does them again. What will happen to her when she gets it wrong? If she gets it wrong, I've made the mistake because I've put my dog in that position in the first place or I haven't taught her what I expect from her. Are there any less invasive alternatives to what you propose? To the best of my knowledge, uh, the answer to that is no or we would be using them, okay? So, techniques I use, proper environmental control, which allows, sets up my dog for success or sets up the dog I'm working with for success. We reinforce those behaviours with food, play, toys or things the dog likes so that the dog does them again. If the dog gets something wrong, the mistake is mine, not the dog's, because I allowed it to happen. And if there was anything less invasive, I would be using that. Okay, so, tell you what I don't use. I will not use a prong collar on your dog. I will use, not use a choke chain on your dog or an electric collar. I won't use a rattle can, a spray bottle. I won't poke the dog. Uh, kick the dog, touch the dog with my foot, touch with my foot as to snap the dog out of it. So I won't use any of these things, only the techniques which I've, I've showed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to nominate a few trainers and I would ask that you do a video such as this and then nominate others. So the trainers that I would like to nominate are uh, Laurie Stevens in the US, Steve Mann, founder of the Institute of Modern Dog Trainers, Kathy Sedale for being a massive inspiration and a phenomenal teacher. Nando Brown. Muzz Osmus, uh, well done Muzz for uh, your Institute of Modern Dog Trainers, Dog Trainer 2014. Stacey Routley, who we did our assessment together with the IMTD this year. Grisha Stewart, again for everything that I've learned from her. Roddy Kirk, Patrick Rocca, or Rocha, sorry Patrick, I don't know how to pronounce your surname, in Portugal. Claudia in Portugal, my good friend Al Bunyan. Claire Staines, Shirag Patel and of course Gene Donaldson for inspiring me to do this. So make a video, nominate three others within 48 hours and uh, let's raise the standards of dog training in the world and in your own country so that our dogs are all better off for it. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully this will take off.